Good morning, Susan Vincent's here, and today we're going to look briefly um, at getting yourself set up to monitor your students' Chromebook screens using the Classroom by Lightspeed um, program that we have available. Um, so to start out with, we've emailed you a link, but here is the link up here above in the address bar, um, preview.lsclassroom.com, and then you're going to sign in using Google. So just sign in using Google with your Bullitt County Google account. And if you're already signed in, for example, on your Chromebook, or if you're signed into Google on your desktop already, it will sign you right in. Otherwise, it may ask a couple of questions asking you to allow Lightspeed to access your Google account. So I'm using um, a teacher volunteer's account here. So when you um, log in to Lightspeed Classroom, you're probably not gonna see anything and you're gonna have to do some setup um, initially to be able to see your students. So what you're going to see over here is on the left hand corner, you're going to see one of your classes listed. And if you use the arrow and drop it down, you're going to see every class associated with your Google account. It may list both classes that have been created um, through Infinite Campus that um, automatically show up with Classroom. And it may also show ones that you have named yourself. So what we're going to do is to go into one of these classes that we haven't set up yet. So I'm just going to use this one here. I'm going to click on this class and notice I don't see any students listed or I can't see their screens in order to monitor yet. So underneath that class name, I'm going to click on view schedule and I have to tell Lightspeed when I want to see that. So our recommendation is to click this plus sign and you're going to click Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Don't worry about Saturday and Sunday. The, you want to monitor them when they're in your um, care. And then start time for um, elementary purposes. I would suggest 8 o'clock. Middle school and high school are going to vary that um, a, a little bit. And then end time, I would suggest around 4 o'clock. And then you want to put that in military time. So if you're going to use four o'clock, we're going to put 1600 hours there. Okay. So I highlighted each day of the week and then I put a start time for eight o'clock and an end time of 1600 hours. So then I'm going to come down here and hit the blue save button and it will save that information. And then you will see your students listed. Okay. And then you have two different views, which we'll go over in a few minutes. So then let's demonstrate this one more time. I'm going to drop this menu down, find one of the other classes that I have not set up yet. So I'm going to pick this class, click view schedule, click the plus sign to add my days. So I'm going to add Monday through Friday, just highlight them and they'll turn blue. And then I'm going to put an eight o'clock start time and a 1600 hours end time, which would translate to 4 p.m the save button and then you should be able to see your students if they are on and doing anything. So now here on this teacher site I'm going to drop my menu down and I'm going to choose one of these classes where I know I have students. So I'm going to click my homeroom here. It's going to load my students and notice here currently it will show your students in a list view and you have two options right up here on the top right. So right now we're in list view. It will show you that these students are browsing these websites and it will show what recent sites they have been into. So you can click on that for privacy reasons. I won't bring that up right now um, on our video. And then you also have the option right up here. This is called heat map view or similar to Google Drive. We call that a grid view. So if you will click the grid view, you will see your students listed. Then you can click on one of the students there and it'll show you what they're doing. You can send them a message and all of that good stuff. This student is doing Reading Plus right now. Oh, and you can also check their browsing history. Now I can also scroll down here and hit Show All Screens. If I click Show All Screens, hit Continue. Look at the warning. It may slow down your Wi-Fi, so you don't want to keep this on continuously. Hit Show All Screens, hit Continue. And then you're going to be able to see what each student is doing. It looks like most of these students are on Lexi or Reading Plus or Dreambox or one of those types of activities. Okay. And again, you can click on their name. It'll show you exactly what they're doing in live time. You can check their browsing history 
and send them a message. Okay. So if there's any questions about um, any of the things that we've gone over, especially with the initial setup, please email your um, technology integration specialist for your building and we'll be happy to assist. Enjoy, and I hope this helps. Thank you. Have a great day.